definitely it hurts to let people down and to see them kind of feel that that pain of the last believing uh, the league and us not being able to get it done for them. So it definitely it's definitely. Like uh, I think you were also emotional earlier. You talk about how you're feeling uh, the gravity of this. It just hurts. I, number one, in general, if you're if you're a competitor, you hate to lose. Period. So, and on the added fact that it's Alaska's last game, and, and all these people, all these fans came out to to see us move on to the semis. And it's emotional, you know. What I mean, obviously, like you know, when the buzzer sounded, I'm waving to the fans, and they got the music playing on the big board of the Alaska stuff. And, is a tearjerker for sure. I mean, it definitely makes you feel some type of way. Just a disappointment, like I said. I mean, it, it's not not just for us. Like I said, you're, if you're a competitor, then you hate losing. But to let people down, the Alaska fans, they deserve, you know, they deserve to good farewell. And, and, and it hurts to not be able to give it to them to go for the 15th championship. But I'm sure uh, at the same time, you're also grateful for everything that Alaska has given you. For sure. Here, yeah. to talk about your I mean, beyond grateful. Uh, class act, class organization, just like what everybody says about the, the organization. Treated me beyond good when I was with them. And, and everybody from the staff, the ball boys. I mean, there's. I just took a picture with some of the ball boys in there because they're with me every morning rebounding. I'll ask them the day before, hey, can you come early? Can we rebound? Can we shoot? Can we? And they're always there. And, and, and that's... That's a sign of the organization. They just, you know, they'll, they'll do anything for you to be prepared and, and can't say enough good things. So. Mike, there was one game where I, I think we saw you, you were wearing a Jojo Lasting Mosa yeah. jersey. Uh, what was that? Uh, that was right after the announcement. That was the first game right after the announcement. Um, I actually contacted Coach Jojo yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's one of the authentic jerseys from one of their championships. So I had to give it back to him. But, um, I just wanted to pay homage to to all the great Alaska players, the Alaska teams, um, all the people that come before us to, to get it to where it's recognized as Alaska. Um, so basically, I, I just wanted to pay homage to that and, and to show my respect and give uh, the credit where, where it's due for that. Were you able to speak with Coach George? I, think, I was, yeah. yeah. How was the conversation? Um, I just told him congratulations on the win. Um, good luck in the semis. He told me that um, everything's going to be all right. Uh, he said, you've been playing really well. And he was he was proud of me. And um, it was kind of a short exchange. But just, just wanted to congratulate him on, on the team's success and them being able to move on. And, and, and like you said, like he's a, he's a part of Alaska. So he's... He's somebody that I'm sure feels that same feeling that Alaska is leaving the, the league. So it was short. I mean, yeah, just yeah. congratulating. Like, what are you hoping for moving on to the Um, the future is. Uh, I don't know if there's been any announcements yet or anything like that. So, um, I'm just gonna focus on today. Focus on on right now and. Um, how I'm feeling right now and kind of process um, the conference that was and uh, trying to just cherish the time that uh, we have left together. Um, so I know we're going to meet up again as a team and uh, trying to just focus on the present. Coach, there will be a, a like send-off or like a get-together? Yeah, so coach, coach in the dugout had told us that he didn't want to end it like this. You know, we're just saying goodbye in the, in the dugout, so we're all going to meet up again. Have a proper you know, goodbye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it.